One of the things that really upset me about the last episode we watched, which was episode 11 of Sister Wives, is when they were talking about Truly coming over, and of course, Isabel came over, and of course, Savannah did not, um, that Cody made a comment about, like, he doesn't know if he can trust his kids, about how Isabel's been a little cool to him, and Truly seems fine, but he doesn't know if he can trust his kids. And it's like, the level of fawning that he requires from a child in order to consider them to be in his good graces. It's kind of frightening. I mean, and that's like, that's like underplaying it because we already find Cody's like screaming and yelling and knife in the kidneys and stuff to be kind of scary. And when they replayed the clip of him yelling at truly, I had forgotten how bad it was. I knew it was bad. Like, trust me, I didn't think it was okay. I knew it was intense. But when they showed that, just that clip of there's no crying in baseball. And she's like, this isn't baseball. It's like, it's easier. I'm like, like, I would find that terrifying. As an adult grown woman, if a stranger yelled at me like that, let alone a loved one, I would find that really upsetting. Like, I would be like, I got to call my therapist and be like, I have a thing I, we need to discuss. Now, I, um, you know, I'm being a little silly. I'm an adult. I can handle stuff. But it bothers me a lot, the level of... Because Isabel's a little bit cool, he's not sure if he can allow her in his house. And it's like, oh... If everything else that he has done is not clarified why he is having trouble with his kids, this scene alone, I feel like if you were like, wow, why is Cody having problems with his kids? You could show this scene alone to like a trained therapist and they'd be like, oh, that's kind of concerning. What do you mean he's concerned that his 18 year old daughter isn't isn't safe? Like if he can trust them, like what do you mean? Like that sounds paranoid. That sounds bizarre. Um, And it does what it does make me wonder is how much is McKelty sucking up to him to qualify as being a good enough child to be welcomed in her house. You know what I mean? Because I think Isabel has a lot of good reasons to be skeptical of her father. Her father kept referring to her life-saving surgery. Um, Scoliosis was extremely severe and would affect her life um, as a vacation. He did it multiple times on TV, screaming it at her mother. And her mother took all that abuse. Her mother took that all. Um, and never said, never like shifted it over to like Isabel, you know, begged me to be there or anything like that. She just said, this is my decision and stuff. Um, and you know, her father said to her, well, can you just go alone? And she was like a 17 year old kid, you know, legally she couldn't have gone alone. So he was an idiot to ask. And emotionally she shouldn't have been able to go alone. And even as an adult, they wouldn't have sent her. They wouldn't have been like, oh, whatever. We'll send you home in an Uber. Like the, the levels of disgusting of that statement are, are not only is he stupid and doesn't understand how the world works and also like emotionally, this is terrible. How can you do that? Um, And he doesn't seem to be, I don't know how much he's reached out to her, any of that. Clearly Maddie's having problems and she's living with Maddie. Like there's a lot of reasons why I can see Isabel being a little cool to him. And instead of embracing her and telling her how much we love her, he loves her, we don't see anything. We don't see anything in that footage to show us otherwise. And that's, that's just, you know, that's just that. But the fact that he said he doesn't know if he could trust these kids, I thought, the bar is going to keep raising for what kind of behavior is that he requires from them in order to stay in his good graces.